Hey guys, welcome to another WoW video. And this is one that has taken me a while to finish to put on the channel for you guys. And so long, in fact, that I lost a lot of the footage that I probably accidentally deleted, you know, because I'd been holding on to it for literal years. So, uh, so this is a special rep out in Legion. Uh, the reason it's considered a special rep is that you don't really know about it until you do certain things leading up to it. So back in Legion, and I'll link these videos for you at the end, but I had done some videos on the Falcosaur mounts and pets. That's kind of how it all starts. So basically what you'll do is you'll do the four quest lines that get you your Falcosaur pets, their beak hatchling, blood gazer hatchling, sharp talon hatchling, and your snow feather hatchling. Uh, these are pets you want anyway. They're really good in pet battles. And once that is completed, you'll gain access to the Talons of Vengeance rep. And that's where this all begins. The major reason you would want to do this is because there is a mount. It is a reskin. Uh, this is a lot of work for this mount, but if you're a mount collector, more specifically going after a number, it's one you may want to uh, work on every so often. Uh, it basically looks a lot like the swift white hawk strider that drops from uh, Kelthus in Magister's Terrace. This one's called the Ivory Hawk Strider. So worth noting as well that you only need one quest line completed to gain access to this rep. But you will want to do all four anyway because... There's four pets, and there's also their corresponding mounts, which is another four mounts. But once you are done, you are going to go to Aviana, which is at High Mountain at 3266. I've got my map opened right now, so I'm showing you exactly where. And you're going to summon your mount. Once you've summoned your mount in front of her... She'll have a bunch of dialogue, and you'll click through all the dialogue. There'll be a section where it says, I will be the Talons of Vengeance. So that will unlock access to Trinket. Trinket is your vendor that you're going to be needing to go to to do this rep. And at that point, you're going to go get your first item. So when you first start, you are going to be neutral. And there is the Ivory Talon you can purchase. You don't need any specific rep, and it only costs one silver. And that's how you're going to start. And the best way I found for this one is uh, just grab some friends, have them go out to the Falcosaur World Quest areas with you, and just kill them. You know, yeah, that's the easiest way to do it nowadays because nowadays there's not a whole lot of people out there and also not a whole lot of people working on this to begin with, you know? Like, I did not see anyone ever using the buff, you know? I was always kind of alone in that. So, uh, so the best thing is, you know, find some people to help you. And uh, I would say the beginning part is the toughest part because uh, you're going to need to do it that way. Um, basically from neutral to honored. Once you get to honored, you'll be able to buy the ivory feather. The ivory feather is 100 gold and this is where shit gets easy. Yeah, I was very happy to finally get to Honored, and then I, I really didn't care when I got the item, you know, from that point because uh, cause it was just easy to do now. So Ivory Feather, you can go into Battlegrounds now. So you can go into any. I was using Ashron mainly because I'm also doing the Nemesis quests, but you can use it in any Battleground. And, uh, and what you'll do is you'll just make sure you have that buff on you. And you will just, um, you know, kill stuff in your battleground. And you do need killing blows to um, get the items. 
Uh, basically how I did it is I'm also working on my bloody coin farm. So when you get to this point and you're able to go into battlegrounds, throw them both on. That's what I was doing. I was buffing up with the ivory feather and buffing up with my fire watcher's oath. Um, and, uh, and just kill in together on that. And I was collecting both bloody coins and mark of prey. Um, and I don't believe I've mentioned yet that Mark of Prey is the item that you are getting for this Talon's Vengeance. And so those are basically your two main things, Ivory Talon and Ivory Feather. And upon getting a Mark of Prey, uh, they will get a buff called Hunted. And basically that means that you can't kill them again for 10 minutes. You know, well, you can kill them. You just won't get a mark of prey. So that's what kind of makes it a little difficult in the beginning is that there is that debuff. Now, another thing to add to this is this here. This is a chart of your rep level, what's required, and some buffs. Uh, so depending on your percentage increase for your rep, this is, you know, how many marks you would need. You can see it's a lot. You would need a lot of marks. It might sound easier coming across, uh, but do keep in mind that you need a killing blow. So it's not like you go into a battleground and kill someone and instantly have a mark of prey on you. It, it can take a bit to stack it up for sure. And like I said, neutral to honored is going to be like the long grind because, uh, you know, you definitely kill more things in a battleground than, you know, uh, unless you got a shit ton of friends <laughs> willing to help you. But still, they'd have the hunted and yeah. So yeah, that is the table for that. I was taking advantage of 10% pretty much the entire time except for what you see in this video. Um, but speaking of, I do have footage of me handing it in in Dark Moon, so here it is. So Dark Moon, definitely a good one to take part in. Yeah, so Dark Moon will have uh, a buff for you. There's one during the Hollow's End if you're doing it around that time. Uh, there's also the Pilgrim's Bounty. There's also the Human Racial, so that'll give you an extra 10%. And then there's also the Councils of Wisdom. It's available to Frost Mages that have Ebon Chill, which was the Legion Legendary. But I would say all in all, if you're doing this on a human and you wait for Dark Moon to hand in, yeah, win-win right there. So as you can see, 350 is basically what you're going to be looking at needing if you are on a human and waiting for Dark Moon to be there. And if you're like myself, you can tell them not a human, Night Elf. So I was just taking advantage of the Dark Moon. And, uh, and yeah, 382 is what you would need from Neutral to Exalted for that one. Uh, also, would like to mention that these don't stack a very high, at least not yet. Maybe down the road they'll stack higher, but at the moment they only stack to 20. So if you have bank space issues like I do, you might want to just do what I did and just make sure that whatever's stacked in your bank, you just you know, unload that, that quantity over at the Dark Moon whenever it comes around, so you're not stacking too many. In this video, I chose to do the last bits before Dark Moon came around because I only needed eight. <laughs> I only needed eight tokens, and it was like two weeks away from Dark Moon, and yeah, I just, yeah, there was no reason to wait because, uh, you know, I had enough no matter what. So this is the mount. This is your Ivory Hawk Strider. And it's really cheap to purchase. 10,000 gold. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck on your rep farm and your mount farm if you choose to do this. And we will see you in the next one.